Dance Party. Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. Flowers. Their first number one pop hit. State the parks, state. Book learning. Ships. And B plus, a lot of holding reserves through winter, these globular underground buds let flowers like Narcissus bloom early. Player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one? This large group of flowering plants attracts serious devotees like those who pay $10,000 for one Peruvian plant. Let's hear it, player one. Oh, oh sorry. That's in... We're talking about orchids. Please. <laughs> it's the Daily Double. <laughs> and you're in the lead now. How much? A clue. This Mayflower of the Buttercup family has a C version, too. The correct response is the anemone. Player one. A bouquet of a dozen sink foils ought to have a total of this many petals. Here's the correct response. 60. We read L. vulgari is the oxide type of this common flower. Here's the correct response. The daisy. Selecting every breath you take, 1983. Here's what we were looking for. The police. We sunshine on my shoulders, 1974. Here's the correct response. John Denver. Player one. Sunshine Superman, 1966. Here's the correct response. Donovan. We return Ms. Jackson, 2001. Here is what we wanted. Outcast. Player one. Owner of a Lonely Heart, 1984. Here's what we were looking for. Yes. Player one. Longhorn Cavern State Park. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That's right. Way to go. Player one. San Simeon State Park. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> You're out of the hole. We return. Manatee Springs State Park. Here's what we were looking for. Florida. Player Cumberland one. Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. The correct response is Kentucky. Player Crater one. of Diamonds State Park. Here is what we wanted. Arkansas. You again. Her Little Women appeared in 1868. A mere 127 years later, her A Long Fatal Love Chase arrived. It's player one. You are correct. You get to... In addition to 20,000 leagues under the sea, he wrote an 1887 story on the Civil War, North Against South. Here is what we wanted. Jules Verne. Player one. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others in a 1945 book by this author. Here's what we were looking for. George Orwell. You again. In 1840, he hit a bumpo in the road and penned The Pathfinder. 
Here's the response we were looking for. James Fenimore Cooper. Player one. In 1863, this Russian wrote The Cossacks, a short novel based on his travels with the army. The correct response is Leo Tolstoy. You again. The submarine USS Nautilus was the first ocean-going vessel to use this form of power. Let's hear it, player one. That's not it. Here's what we were looking for. Nuclear power. So, in 1838, the Sirius became the first steamship to cross this ocean using steam power alone. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one. On a sailing ship, these can be bunt lines, downhauls, or sheets. It's player one. <laughs> no. Here's the correct response. Ropes. We Apollo 15's command module was named in honor of this ship commanded by Captain James Cook. Here's what we wanted. Endeavor. Player one. Before its name was changed, this ship of Sir Francis Drake was known as the Pelican. Here's the correct response. Golden Hind. Player one, the shoeless. It's player one. That is correct. You're out of the hole. Player one, it's one over par on a hole of golf. Yes, player one. Oh, sorry. That's in. We're talking about a bogey. Player one, it speaks to Moses in Exodus three. Yes, player one? <laughs> Correct. Hey, you're on the plus side. Player one. Able to speak both Spanish and English. Player one? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Let's have a look at the $1,000 clue. This type of drug relaxes the smooth muscles in the airways, causing them to open. Here's the response we were looking for. A bronchodilator. <laughs> the Full Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Clues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. Minority Report NBA Nicknames Have you ever seen the like? Notice the quotation marks on like. Libraries Anti-war books And science adjectives A 1936 dissent by Justice Stone accused six other justices of a tortured construction of this document. It's player one. Right you are. <laughs> Player one. In his first major case as Chief Justice, he found himself in the minority in 2006 as Oregon's assisted suicide was okayed. Here's the correct response. John Roberts. Please pick it. Justice Brennan, dissenting in Paris Adult Theater v. Slayton, said this quality is too vaguely defined to regulate. Here's what we were looking for. Obscenity. You get Justice Holmes dissented when seditionist Jacob Abrams' conviction was upheld, saying he didn't pose this type of danger. Player one? Here's the response we were looking for. Clear and present. Select Justice Harlan was an honorable one-man minority in the 1896 decision Plessy v. Him. Okay, player one. Oh. Sorry. 
what's wrong. Here's what we were looking for. John Ferguson. You get to pick a game. MJ. It's player one. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> player one. Pistol Pete. Player one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> player one, Sir Charles. Here is what we wanted. Charles Barkley. Player one, Mr. Clutch. We're talking about Jerry West. Player one, Hondo. Here is the response we were looking for. John Havlicek. Player one, five-word phrase repeated by Dorothy Gale when clicking her heels together in The Wizard of Oz. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one. Three word cliche used of exotic food. Ramona said it about rat on the first survivor. Okay, player one. That's it. On the plus side again. Player one. In all this, the state or fact of being probable. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Player one. Answer. Yeah! <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. What'll it be? Here is your daily double clue. Doppelganger. Oh. Oh, so that's Here's the response we were looking for. A look-alike. You again, ovine. Here's the correct response. Sheep-like. We return. This country's national library, the Biblioteca Nacional José Martí, was financed by a tax on sugar. Here is what we wanted. Cuba. You get the Hector Hodler Library in Rotterdam, which is devoted to this artificial language, has over 15,000 books. We're talking about Esperanto. Player one. Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. You are currently in the lead. You need to select your wager. The clue. When his presidential library was dedicated in 1991, four former presidents were in attendance. That's it. Please. This Shakespeare library, named for this standard oil man, is run by Amherst College. Here's the correct response. Henry Folger. Player one. The Radcliffe Camera, Britain's first round library, is the main reading room of this bigger library at Oxford. Here's what we were looking for. The Bodleian Library. Please pick. His All Quiet on the Western Front is a classic of anti-war fiction. The correct response is Eric Maria Remarque. Player one. In this Dalton Trumbo novel, Joe returns home from the war with his body shattered, but his mind intact. We're talking about Johnny Got His Gun. Player one. Oscar the Dwarf revels in the destruction and insanity of Nazi Germany in his The Tin Drum. Here's the response we were looking for. Gunter Grass. You again. In this ancient Greek play, women deny their husbands bedroom visitation rights until they stop fighting. We're talking about Lysistrata. Player one. This American humorist's war prayer about the Spanish-American War was published in 1923, after his death. Here's the response we were looking for. Mark Twain. You again. Because they're most active after dark, opossums are described as this, Latin for of the night. Yes, player one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
please. Pumice, which floats on water because of little air pockets, is described as this, from the Greek for passage. Okay, player one. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> player one. This ten-letter adjective describes a medical condition that was present at birth. Here is what we wanted. Congenital. Player one. Let's take it over to Kelly. Hydrogen and oxygen atoms bind tightly together to create water molecules by sharing electrons in this type of bond, from the Latin for strong together. Let's hear it, player one. Yep. <laughs> and now the $2,000 clue. Sarcasm aside, this word from the Greek for burning describes a substance that causes corrosion. Let's hear it, player one. No, that's not right. Here is what we wanted. Caustic. Good game. I'll see you for Final Jeopardy in a moment. Consider your wagers carefully as you think on this category. Musical history. Please enter your wager. Let's take a look at that Final Jeopardy clue right now. It's the nursery rhyme that inspired the title of a famous musical based on a 1913 George Bernard Shaw work. Did you come up with the correct response? Sorry, that incorrect response will drop your score by... Here's what we were looking for. London Bridge. This makes you our new champion, Player One. So congratulations. So long.